first of all, I don't feel any, um, you know, thing against her or anything. Um, the truth of the matter is, uh, we're both of the MPP fraternity. Um, we both recognize that the elephant is a winning symbol. So it's just a question of competition. There's something in Chi which says, So um, both of us are uh, members of the MPP, uh, senior members for that matter. And uh, so once the opportunity has come for the delegates to decide, uh, so be it. We must remember that she's MP today because the delegates once voted for her. And the delegates have the right, according to our constitution and our democracy, uh, not just in MPP by the country, to choose their representative to represent us at the general election. So the delegates will just do a simple task. They'll decide who they want to represent them based on their own assessment of either performance or the potential of what you can change, and they'll either retain or change. That's a very simple process. My only advice is to all the um, delegates that after this, it's over. I remember when I lost before, I talked to my delegates and said, look, forget everything. I put my opponent's picture on my gate. And from there, uh, we moved on because they saw that I wasn't going to tolerate any sort of uh, factionalism. I would also advise that by the same token, if by God's grace I win today, my opponent should put my picture on a gate or on a wall, just as a symbol to a people that look, we are about the elephant and not about individuals. So I believe everything will be well. Everything will be well. Okay. Right, so after this, you you feel there's going to be unity amongst yourselves in the party? Yes, I mean, especially if it's managed well, because you know one thing about conflict is that it has to be managed well. And it can only be managed properly also by good leadership. So I think that uh, uh, there should be exemplary leadership to show that at the end of the day, it's all about the elephant.